Duck? What is going on, fools of YouTube? You got AJ Pay bringing you another chapter of Pokemon's Adventures Red. This is chapter 20. Last time we were in the Rocket base invading them, and they found out that we were not the real Team Rocket person that we were. And pretty much we ran out, uh, saved Green from Team Rocket, and now she wants us to go invade Team Rocket. So it's based again, so we can get something there. And the only reason why we agreed to her on that, so she can give us our two badges back. In this episode, we're going to continue on. First, we're going to do one of my favorite things in this uh, series. It's talking to people, because the dialogue in this is great. Hi, I'm Ethstoth. I'm currently finishing the Orange Archipelago arc for my hack game. So this is the creator dude, so that's pretty cool. Uh, herp, derp. Oh, look this at this right. It's one pixel out of place. It's time to send Astrode an angry email. So this is where the creator is. So that's where the creator is for the original Pokemon game as well, I believe. All right, let's go ahead and head down here and talk to you. We're from PETA. We care, PETA. We care about Pokemon. Oh boy. Goddamn PETA sometimes, man. We're from PETA. We care about Pokemon. Okay, let's kill all Pokemon so they don't have to. <laughs> Alrighty, well then. I got an idea. How about we steal Nintendo's mascot and make parody games so to raise awareness? Damn. Damn, PETA sometimes, man. There's some th weird things that people have opinions on. Uh, some people have weird opinions of Pokemon. That's what I was trying to say. Like, I remember there's like this church dude who thought uh, Pokemon was really bad for religion. But now that we explored the rest of this, we're going to actually go off screen grind first. Um, everybody else, so that way we're actually fairly leveled. Also bring Lucio the Meowth, the shiny Meowth as well. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we are back. We off screen grinded everyone to level 31. Just wanted to tell you the few changes here before I move on. Uh, first off, Two of our members evolved. Um, I decided to evolve the Growlithe into Arcanine because Growlithe is too weak at this point. I'll just teach you Flamethrower whenever I actually do off-screen like arcade gambling things because as you guys saw, I'm pretty lucky. And then also, uh, Lucio evolved into a Shiny Persian now. I don't know the difference between a Shiny Persian and a regular Persian, but this one does the Shiny animation, so it's fine. Um, I have the moves Water Pulse, Faint Attack, Fake Out, and Furious Siphon on it for now. So I'll just teach it other moves later, I guess. Uh, what? It's more of a physical attacking Pokemon, if I recall, which I just checked just now. And then, uh, as it turns to Arcanine 2, Arcanine right now is more of physical attacking. So it kind of sucks that I did level it up because I think it could have learned Flare Blitz later or something. I don't know. But I'm just going to keep it like this for now. And uh, this is our team for right now. We have a total of seven main members on our team now, including Talos Snorlax, but I have him in the box. I'm just going to have the Kangaskhan and... Uh, Snorlax switching in and out with the new members for now because like, we have multiple like normal type Pokemon and I'm kind of tired of that shit. Anyways though, let's go ahead and continue on here. I know she did say we have to go back to the base so let's go ahead and go back to the Team Rocket base which should be right over here. There it is. Hope you're happy. Barely got away with our lives and the next thing she does is making me lead her right back to their base. Will you be quiet? Of course. <sighs> Maybe they won't be looking for us. Now that you've given back their disc. Their what back? After all the trouble I went through to get the disc, did you really think I'd give it away? Ah! I gave them the fake one. <laughs> this disc is going to help me catch the cutest little Pokemon. What, you? Here, I'll show you. Come out, Ditto. Ditto, show him what a Mew looks like. I remember that Pokemon, so that was Mew. Well, this one's actually Ditto doing its best Mew imitation, but you can tell it's the. But can you tell it's from the real thing? Now, Ditto, go full Team Rocket one more time, okay? Uh, hey, what are you doing? While well, Ditto keeps those silly Team Rockets busy, you and I are going to track down the real Phantom. Oh, and remember, Team Rocket thinks you and I are partners now, so you better cooperate with me. It's Mew! Catch him! We're idiots! <laughs> Think Ditto can keep him fooled? Oh, sure. Now I'm going to upload the disc into my self scope. What the shit happened? Bingo! I picked up a high psychic wave just west of Seldon City. Take me there. Just west of Seldon City. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna be moving on now, actually. West side. West side? Um, what do I, I, I don't know what I'm checking here, but I'm definitely liking the character green. Um, I, hmm. Are they trying to use Mew to create some kind of monster? Then why are you looking for Mew? Isn't it obvious? For M-O-N-E-Y! 
God damn it, she's a fucking hoe. She's a gold digger, man. Oh, man, I'm falling for the gold digger. We got Misty. Misty is loyal to us. We have to stick with Misty. But Queen has a better... She has a more interesting person to... Ah, I don't know. M money? Do you know how many Pokemon are there? What kind of trainer do you take me for? There are 149 Pokemon. Wrong so many levels. There are 149 Pokemon in the Kanto region, but uh, there are other kinds of Pokemon that exist in the other regions. As for Mew, Mew is a phantom Pokemon. A Pokemon that is undocumented, uncaught, and almost unknown. Every Pokemon breeder in the world is dying to get their hands on it. Just imagine how much I can sell it for. <laughs> God damn it, she's a gold digger. She can take my money! I'm a knee! So, what's this? Oh. Hmm? Mew! Finally! That's the phantom Pokemon? Hurry, let's catch it before he gets away. Uh-oh. Did you really think you could get away from us this easily? Uh-oh, looks like they caught on to Ditto's tricks. Mew's about to escape! JP, do you want to fight Team Rocket? Hell yeah, let's fight Team Rocket! Fuck them up! Let's fuck them up! Then again, she is tricky. Yes. I wonder what would happen if I said no. Probably would have forced us to say yes or something. Good. Oh, it's Flaps! They have Flaps! Well, I have... Lucio, Bunga, Shiny, Faint Attack. Let's go, baby. I believe Faint Attack is still considered part of the Technician Boost that uh, Persian gets, so it's going to do a shit ton of damage. Knock out that Flaps. God damn, I can't... I really am th wondering what was Game Freak thinking when they made Jinx? Were they honestly trying to be racist to black people? I don't know. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> now die. They've completely disappeared. Mew. It got away. Hey, look on the bright side. Bridge side? What? At least Team Rocket didn't get their hands on you, right? <laughs> At least I'll make a few bucks off the first ever photos of the Phantom Pokemon. <laughs> hey! Wh when did you... Don't tell me you were taking photos while I was fighting! Toodaloo! I'm off to the papers. Er, she left again. Hey, there's a note in my pocket. Thanks for everything, honey pie. Love, green. We even see our badges back, which is not bad, so that's good. Well, well, shit. I don't know how I feel about her at this point. Well, at least uh, we finished all that off. Um, could we go to the gym now? It looks like we can at the moment. The gym leader is currently still away. So, yeah, I have no idea what I can do next. Oh, I could definitely move on from here. Um, there was something important that I wanted to do, but I completely forgot what it was. But I guess that's fine for now. Uh, can I go to this phantom's house at all? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, my. I haven't gotten a visitor for a long time. No kidding. Your house is pretty old. <sighs> this house was passed down by my father. It's always been like this since I remembered. Anyway, why don't you come in and rest? You'll get wet if you stay outside. Uh, sure. Why not? Even though I feel like we might get raped or something. I don't know. I'm kind of afraid of old men after uh, the last old man that raped me. Come on, I've made food. Thanks for the hospitality, but I'm not that hungry. <laughs> Don't be silly, my boy. I'm I'm maybe old, but a really good cook. Should I eat the food? Sure. Okay then. Thanks. What's wrong? Interesting flavor. I've never eaten anything like this before. It tastes kind of good. <laughs> you see, I told you I'm a good cook. Excuse me. But who are you? I'm sorry. My name is Steve. I'm on my way home to Fuchsia City, but this storm makes it very difficult for me to travel home. I was just wondering, can I stay here until the rain stops? Something isn't right. Hmm. Okay, then. Steve, is it? Um, if you don't mind, you can share a room with, uh... Ha <laughs> It's JP. Oh, that's what I was saying. That's right. Yeah, how about you share a room with JP? Yes, that would be fantastic. Thank you. JP, is that okay with you? Yeah, sure. God damn it. I hate sleeping in beds with people in general. Fuck. I wasn't planning to stay, but this guy might be dangerous. <laughs> I'm getting so many visits lately. Okay, I'll go prepare the room right now. Hmm. I don't know where this is going to lead to, to be honest. What the hell? Okay. Um, There's no music. That's very ominous there. There is a rock right here which we can't break because we uh, don't have rock smash, so that sucks. There's a. Mm, well, well, it looks like we can only go up. 
Alright, it looks... Okay, we gotta get our own separate beds, at least. That's not bad. But I don't like sleeping in the same room as people, because I, I guess I snore pretty loud, which I didn't know till now. But then again, when you're fat, I think you can, you snore. I think that's the reason why I snore now. I should talk to the old man first. Okay? Let's talk to him. I prepared beds for both Steve and you. This is exciting. I've never had more than two visitors before. Good night, JP. Uh, hmm. So do I suspect the old man's a bad dude or is it Steve? I don't know. People kept on telling me to go away from this house because it's ominous and shit, but who, we'll see. Uh, let's talk to Steve. I don't trust that guy at all. Okay, so I don't trust him. Okay, time to sleep. If I don't trust him, why did I agree to sleep in the same room as him? Well, I might as well. Okay, time to sleep. Hey. Why do I have a feeling that you think I'm some sort of criminal? I never thought of that. Really? Okay, I did. I'm not a criminal. I'm honestly just a guy who wants to go back home. Well, let's hope it's true. You're you're carrying Pokeballs. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Y yeah. That's so cool. What's your favorite Pokemon? Perch. What the shit? No, it's not. It's Charizard. What the fuck? It's probably because I have the first Pokemon out. <laughs> no way. Perch is my favorite Pokemon too. Okay, he's a liar. He's a criminal. He's just getting on a good side. You fucking asshole. Two minutes later. So you just want to go back from the Orange Archipelago? Yeah. I was going to travel to the Nanomi region and the Declore Islands as well, but there are a few problems. Really? Like what? Well, recently in the Nanomi region, they found a, spe a special parasect that spreads spores that turns humans and Pokemon into zombie-like state. Drew's not a liar? While in the Declore Islands, Team Dyna are revive reviving fossils fossil Pokemon to attack people. What? Wow! Sigh. I really miss my family. <laughs> You'll get to see them tomorrow. Yeah, I can't wait. I bought so many souvenirs for them. Here, you can have one. Oh, Master Ball! You're a god, dude! Thank you! That's that's a Master Ball. Are you sure? Master Balls are extremely rare. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got a lot. Wow, thanks, Steve. <sighs> well, we better catch some Zs. I need to get up early tomorrow. It was really nice talking to you, JP. Few hours later. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, is this you? Holy shit, he's trying to rape us in bed! Luckily, we have some rape sensors now from the last time we got raped. What are you doing? That's extremely creepy. What's wrong? I forgot to, to clean my wife's tombstone today. Tombstone? Oh. There's no bus or taxi today, and my bones are way too fragile to walk such a distance to Lavender Town. Her spirits aren't going to rest in peace. I can help you clean her tombstone. Don't be silly, my boy. Her tombstone's too far away. Don't worry about it. I have a bike. I can get there in no time. Really? Thank you, JP. Our right, tombstone's located on the top right corner of Lavender Tower's graveyard. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go back there. Let's talk to you. He's still sleeping. I shouldn't wake him. All right. So I guess for now, we're going to go to Lavender Town to, I guess, clean her tombstone. Doesn't really make too much sense to me, and it's not really dark outside. I don't know why he's still sleeping during midday, but that's fine. But let's go to Lavender Town and see uh, what's going to happen there. Hopefully there's no, like, shit going to be going down. I feel like Steve might get murdered in a few seconds here, but I don't really care about Steve too much. I've already used him enough with the getting the Master Ball and stuff, so that's fine. So he said top right corner. So... This one? No... Top, you said top right corner. Odd. Okay, it's one of these. Right? Right? No? What the shit? This is the graveyard that we're in. He said top right corner and I went there. The shitty poo poo fuck? Odd. I feel like I don't need to do this yet or something. Hmm. Okay, well for now I'm actually gonna do something else. Because what I was told is the Pikachu's ashes you can actually return them in this tower, which I did try searching earlier. That's how I ran into that shiny Meowth. Um, but apparently, um, there is an alternate path somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and head up there. And if it there, if that's not true at all, then I'm probably just going to cut this scene. But hopefully, uh, this, this shit is actually true or not. So we'll see. All right, so we're here. There should be some type of alternate path. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Behind that tombstone is a rune. There's a room. I can feel it. Hmm. I can't get past it. Don't worry. I'll take it from here. So now that uh, I did that, let's go ahead up here. And it looks like we're still in the tower. Thank you. So what happened to your trainer? I don't know. But this room contains mysterious, mysterious powers. 
As you head deeper into this room, more and more of my history will be revealed to you. Alright, so I guess we're going to be doing more of this during the time of the Pokemon War. That's your voice! A trainer, no, a warrior found an injured Pokemon. Ah, oh, it's Lieutenant Surge! What the shit?! He took that Pokemon in and raised it. Let's keep moving. Wow, this is so intense and so interesting. That Pokemon was eventually killed. Wait, you were murdered? Giovanni, you bastard! How dare you! That looked like Giovanni, at least. What is this? So we found a rare candy. And we get a PP up for our troubles. So that's pretty cool. And then click on this coffin. This looks like a good spot. Now you can come out now. You can come out now. Thank you, JP. Here's your final resting place. Are you ready? I guess it is. We traveled a long way, didn't we? We did. <laughs> kind of don't want to go anymore. Come on. You know you have to. Yeah, I know. What's wrong? There's something I need to tell you before I go. You might have noticed that there are hardly any adult men in the Kanto region. That's because most of them died in the Pokemon War. What? I didn't even notice until you mentioned it. Wow. I know only two men that survived the war. One is my trainer, and the other one is the other guy that killed me. The guy that killed me saw the terror of the war. It changed him into something wicked. He wants to take over the world of Pokemon. He wanted my trainer to join him. However, at the time, my trainer only focused on taking care of me. I was a threat to his plans. Therefore, he killed me. That bastard! <laughs> I finished the sentence. Yeah! There's one more thing. That man is the head of Team Rocket. His name's Gio Giovanni, you fucker! Looks like it's time to go. Thank you for everything, JV. Rest in peace, pal. Damn. You may rest in peace, buddy. So, it looks like uh, now that he's resting in peace. Alright. Um, I'm going to go back to the graveyard, so I'll meet you guys there. Oh, we're back in Celadon and says the grave. The reason being is because I checked the grave and nothing happened again. I talked to the old man again, went back, nothing happened. So, I'm just going to continue on the Route 16. Duck? That's a Porygon! That's Duck! Duck! I better fall. I poor guys rare Pokemon. Ah, duck, 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 duck. Oh, Cor. Oh, okay, well. And since it's your Pokemon, Cory, then I'll just leave it there. That poor guy is yours. You caught a poor guy? Are those those are? I got it from the slot machines to sell on City's Rocket Game Corner. They warned me that if I didn't capture it myself, it'd be hard to control. But this is just ridiculous. Why don't you return it to your Pokemon? You think I haven't tried that? It's too reckless. Darn it! I couldn't even weaken it since I left all my Pokemon in the Poke Center. I'll handle this. <laughs> All right, so I guess it looks like we get the battle coys a duck. So that's pretty cool that uh this dude actually <laughs> has Porygon as a Pokemon. That's just awesome to me. Go ahead, send out Lucio, baby. Let's just show them how powerful Lucio is. He trades our technician. That ain't good. Now let's go ahead and fake out right here. Fake out's gonna do a shit ton of damage. Wow, that actually does a pretty good amount. So I'm really liking this. The fact that uh Persia's actually pretty decent. Um, I'm getting to like Pokemon, like certain Pokemon I used to not like more and more if I give them like nicknames and give them like somewhat of like an You bastard really give them someone an actual attitude or something But um, yeah, cuz like usually I didn't really like Persian too much, but it's slowly growing on me Porygon I didn't like too much, but then it definitely grew on me because of duck Same with Jinx never really liked Jinx too much and that slowly grew on me. So It's pretty awesome that uh this game if you just like you can grow attached to it by like the to actually like Pokemon that you don't like or things you don't like in general just by uh giving it certain like nicknames or stuff like that uh, but let's go ahead and knock that out with a faint attack so there we go that'll be going down and uh there we go we defeated duck yes thanks damn Corey you don't sound so grateful at all and then I'll be seeing you around unfortunately hey wait up I want to hear more about the Porygon sorry I have things to do damn Guess I'll camp here for a while. A few hours later. What the hell was that? What the hell was that noise? That sounded like a... I forgot what the cry was, but like... Hmm. Let's try to explore this a bit. Uh, why is there no music? Is it in here? Maybe. Old man. My wife left me 30 years ago to pursue her dreams. She told me 30 years later, if our love is still strong, we'll see each other here again. I've been waiting ever since then. Do you regret letting her go? No, I love her. I really want to, to pursue her dream. Damn, dude. That's like props to you, but I feel bad for you. Damn. 
So we heard a Pokemon noise. We're exactly trying to find it. I might be flabby and wrinkly, but my butt is tight and fluff of muscle. Oh god, this is a game for children. Don't say stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, like totally. Brock's non existing abs are so H O T hot. Oh my god. You know, Southern City's gym used to be full of cute girls, right? Why are they suddenly turned to guys? What? They have been? Really? Let's go to this house. Whoa, that's a big ass hero. Sorry. You want HM Fly? I gave it to a boy named Cory. Sorry, I have no. Cory! God damn it, Cory. <laughs> Always taking my shit. Uh, that's okay, though. Um, I don't think there's a lot that we can do at this point. Um, I could catch a Pokemon here. But, oh, I guess we're supposed to go. Oh, he has a Ninetales. What the shit? Oh, it's that cry. It's you again. What are you doing here? What the heck? Why are we battling Ninetales all of a sudden? Okay, this is odd that we're just randomly battling Pokemon, I guess. Sure, why the fuck not? Colosseum! If I'm saying your, that uh, part wrong, Lucio, then I apologize. If, I, if I'm even saying your name wrong, I apologize. Because you never really told me how to pronounce your name, but I'm assuming this is how you pronounce it, so... Um, yeah, I could teach um, Lucio um, Ding instead of Water Pulse, but I decided Water Pulse is better. Mainly because a lot of the Rock Pokemon in this game are Rock and Ground, so it's going to do four times. And then also, like, Ding from... Doesn't really seem too useful. Like, Fire types, I can also use Water Pulse, so it's fine. Or I'll just use normal type attacks better. Go, Pokeball. What? The oh, I weaken the Ninetales and then he catches it. What a douche lord! Corey, you're such a douche lord! What are you doing? I weakened it! Perhaps, but it's my Pokeball that caught it. It's mine! <laughs> Sorry. Smell you later, JP! Wow. Who would have thought that Corey would be such an asshole? Alright, well, it looks like we're left out of the dust here. Can I go to the fucking gym yet, please? Nope, I cannot. Uh, okay, I wonder when I can ever do a gym battle ever again. Because, like, it's been so long since I've been able to do a gym battle. Um, I guess for now, what we're going to do is just continue on with the story. And we'll just... Hold on. Let me go up here first real quick. Let's talk to you. My fear is... Beak broke off. You can have it. Ew, I don't want it. Take it! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, I like shorts. They're comfy. Oh, kid. You you a god. You you so... You so... You so... You so right. Anyways, though, um, we're going to end the episode off here. Or the chapter here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter as well. Also, follow my Instagram page and do the Snapchat thing. And what the shit? I didn't mean to activate this. <laughs> I need to train my Porygon, so brace yourself. What?! Okay, well, I was going to end the, the chapter off, but it looks like we're going to be fighting some Cory. God damn it, Cory. Oh, Cory has four Pokemon. All right, so it looks like we have a full-on battle against Cory. Damn. I remember the, uh, I, I was looking at my old phone, and, uh, but, like, it's, like, probably, like, two phones ago. I had, like, a radar, but that's really irrelevant what I'm talking about right there. But anyways, though, I was looking at my phone, and then, like, it still had all the text messages I had back in the day. And it had my first text messages with Corey, like how I found out about his name and how, how, how I found out about his uh, YouTube name and stuff. It's just so funny looking back during those times where Corey, like back in the day, would not want to download anything whatsoever because he was afraid of getting a virus from anything. I told him just to go on and Google like Fire Red when we were doing the Fire Red series. Oh God, he predicted my switch. Ow. Okay. Well, I tell I remember telling him to download Fire Red. And just Google it, and he's like, no, man, I, I don't want to get a virus in it. Can you just send it to me like a flash drive? I was like, damn, all right. So Corey used to be really, really paranoid about those things. And then um, I just remember how uh, disappointed I was in Corey's Pokemon battling skills. Because I remember I was, like, pretty good at Pokemon battling and stuff. And then I re kind of remembered how crappy Corey was with my first impression to it. Sorry, Corey, I don't really mean to say that. I, I do mean to say that at the point. But, like, you get what I'm saying here, Corey, right? Like... You're not that good at battling at this point. He's about to send out a Charmeleon. We're going to play the rival battles in set. So we're just going to leave uh, cut the job out. Let's go into... I don't want to make it too easy. So I'll send out the Squirrel for now. And I kind of miss Tao. But at the same time, uh, Tao doesn't really have a lot of attacks at the moment. But this is going to be kind of a pain in the ass, I realize, to train like seven Pokemon. Because I'm definitely going to have as much Pokemon as I want. 
So like, I can have up to like 15 members or po main members, like possibly, who knows, like, just depending, like the requirements for a main member really just, if I actually like the Pokemon, and then, um, I think it's just if I like the Pokemon in general, yeah, if I just like the Pokemon, and then if the name's pretty cool too, and all, and, and all that, so, I'll do that, that's how I'm gonna determine if a main member or not, but like, this is so cool that you, that this game has like updated moves like Sucker Punch or stuff. It's honestly really, really awesome that, that that's there. And also, like, the repel thing is, like, the best thing. Like, finally that I got a repel and all, like, it's so cool that, like, when your repel runs out, it will ask you to use another repel. So, this person who did the ROM hack, applause to you. Good job. You just make this game so convenient and easy for me. So, I wonder how far this game's actually going to go for me, though, because have you seen the 10B beta one? And I recently checked the website. He recently has 10C coming out soon. I mean, he had 10C out, and then 11's coming out soon, like, this month in October, so I wonder exactly what the differences will be, but I heard it's like the Orange Archipelagos or something, so this is actually going to be a pretty long game, and I'm really hoping that, um, at some point I finish this game relatively, like, soon, like, maybe, like, five months-ish, four months-ish, I don't know, because, like, I really, really want to play other ROM hacks now, because, like, this game's definitely introducing me into ROM hacks, and, like, I'm actually liking it a lot, so yeah, so I guess I'll just leave that for the comment question today. So I'll, I'll say it for now, like the comment question today is obviously going to be, um, what round hacks would you want me to let's play? So that way I can get an idea later. I'm going to ask at the end of the episode just in case of some of you guys aren't listening because usually sometimes people don't listen, sometimes people are, you know, spaced out, which is understandable because I spaced out too. And then usually at the end people usually listen to stuff, so I'll ask it again later. But this fucker here is going to die the worst fucking possible death Be <sighs> Pikachu oh no okay I remember what he had last time he had a fucking oh god is Pikachu dead I know he has pursuit he just crit with the slash slash did oh oh no no Okay, there's one hope. I got a speed boost. I just gotta hope I go faster. Okay, he agility. me. Oh, praise the Lord God. But then again, I could have switched out. But still, he's, he was faster than me, and he decided not to kill me. Thank God. I didn't want to lose Pikachu. Uh, the two bug one, I definitely do not want to lose Pikachu and John Cena. Because I feel like they're definitely, like, something of the story. So, thank the Lord in heavens that uh, Pikachu didn't die. Okay, so... Oh, I gave it speed boost, really? Well, fuck me. Okay, well, I just hope that, uh, Pikachu doesn't die here right now. There we go. Okay, good. I was thinking, like, Porygon will randomly have Pursuit, and I just cry so hard. <laughs> I would probably, like, quit. No, I wouldn't quit, but <laughs> I'd be super disappointed. <laughs> I'm thinking about now, what was my most disappointing death of me? What death made me, like, the most, like, depressed? And I think it'd probably be, like, Taiga when he was like a pupitar when the bell sprout killed him. I think so. No, no, no. I had to be Greninja. When I had a Greninja and Cory distracted me. And it got killed because of Cory's distraction. I don't know. Whatever. Stop reminiscing. Let's take out this Porygon, baby. Let's go. There we go. We knock his ass out. We defeated Cory. Still can't control that Porygon. That's what you get. I destroyed Duck. Duck sucks. Duck. Yes, I won! Congrats. Hey, where's that nine tails you just got? Right here. Why didn't you use it? I have my reasons. Here, take this. You'll need it. Oh, we got the Macho Brace. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Cory. And then he just walks away in depressed sadness. All right. Well, yep, that about does for me. So like if you like, comment, like, and subscribe if you like. And the common question of day, common question of the day once again, if you guys weren't listening, is um, what round hacks would you like to see me um, let's play? Because I'm planning to definitely do one after this. I'll see you guys on the next chapter. What the shit? The, what the shit? God damn it, Bill, I hate you. Missy, you are my lovely wife. Crackle, crackle. Sizzle, sizzle.